your kombucha is one of the healthiest options out there yet it's not as healthy as you believe and I'll explain why and my two reasons in this video very quickly for you at the end of the day if you just don't want to watch the whole thing get a really good source of water like I'm not talking about your tap water I'm not talking about your bottled water I'm talking about a really high quality source of water but that's more in a different video but kombucha yes it's one of the healthiest drinks out there that are available in a supermarket yet it's not as healthy because first of all your amount of sugar you have in your kombucha is 50% of the amount of sugar that's available in a coke is that good is that bad well it's better is it good no um, in my opinion and from my research and my understanding of, of health after lots of practicing of myself you don't want any sugar, any zero processed sugar, even brown sugar is a, is a bunch of lies and bullshit. You want a really natural source of sugar, like a really organic honey, which is harder to find than you believe. And I'll make another video on how to tell if honey is truly organic or if sugar syrup was pushed to bees and then converted it to some bee category honey. Because that's what most honey keepers do these days. They force feed bees with, with sugar syrup but that's a different video going back to this the sugar amount needed for this yeast to grow is really high but it's still half as much as, as you have in a coke so it's less sugar than your average soda drink but it's still there and I don't recommend in consuming a lot of sugar it, it's a good way to step off soda drinks I agree going back to fermentation you just really want to stay away from anything that has carbon and it's carbonized and has those fizz that's not naturally made fizz from this drink and fizz from expensive champagne is naturally fermented fizz fizz that comes from the fermentation process you don't want fizz from carbon that just pressurized into the drink it's literally it, it's, it's industrially made you don't want anything industrially made because our system and our body is just not used to it. It's that, that's not what our, our organs like consuming. It, it, you're not working with your organs, you're working against them. Uh, it, you might think it helps you digest stuff, but it just makes the symptoms feel different. Does not mean it actually helps digesting. Uh, one reason actually Coke feels good after eating is because of those uh, phosphoric acids. You might as well just buy phosphoric acid and drink it. Um, I don't recommend it, but that's pretty much what you're doing when you drink a Coke. It helps digestion, but it's, uh, it's, it's a chemical that's pretty dangerous to your skin. And it's, it's a, lot, a lot of it is in your Coca-Cola, and so is a lot of sugar. This has uh, no, f no synthetic carbonation and a lot less sugar. So it's definitely, I it guess, my top score for the source of fizz, yet it still has some sugar in it. And uh, most kombucha providers and makers use sugar syrup as a base to make kombucha with uh, this yeast that consumes most of the sugar and then some is still left in the drink and that's why it tastes sweet. At the end of the day, that bacteria was directly fed industrial sugar and then you're eating with the outcome. Do I think that's good? No, because I believe the whole ecosystem is just as important as the product. That's why I'm a really strong believer into organic food. Most of my diet is purely organic and I've never had better sleep in my life. I can promise you that. Last couple nights I was waking up like, oh my God, I, I've, I've just never had this much high quality sleep and it's because my digestive system is having a great time. It's having the time of its life. So my suggestion is yes drink it if you want a really good one make yourself i don't think you will be able to find a good quality kombucha for the time being it's still something that's just starting to be mainstream at this moment so i've not heard of any kombucha being made from really really good sources of sugar because you need a lot of sugar for kombucha and it's gonna bump up the price really really quickly and cut into your profit margin so unfortunately most Kombucha providers are just making it with really cheap syrup made from pure sugar. And I don't recommend that. So in, in my book, it's healthier. But what does that mean for you? At your decision. Do I recommend it to uh, anybody that's a living soul? No. 
But then I don't recommend anything that's from a store, right? Because your store is filled with anything that a bunch of industrially produced, mass produced bullshit. Your, um, your, all your produce has pesticides, herbicides, and so, so on and so forth. Uh, synthetic fertilizer. And all your breads have really poor quality of wheats, which are obviously chemically treated. Then the yeast itself used in the growing of the bread is industrial yeast. I mean, even honey from the store is just... 50% of it is just pretty much pure sugar syrup that's fed, force fed to bees and then bees give you this low quality honey that's just processed sugar, extra processed sugar. Yeah, it's processed by a bee, but it's, you know, the fundamental and the ecosystem is just fucked up to begin with. So eating organic is not easy. Is it worth it? Yes. You will spend a lot less money on doctors in five to 10 years. And believe it or not, eating organic takes a lot less food because it fills you up with all these nutrients so much better that you don't need much food to begin with. You will, you will be, if you go to an organic only diet, and I'm trying that on myself right now, it's amazing, you will realize how much less food you're eating because when it's nutrient packed food, you just don't need a lot of it. I mean, you know, when you eat that cereal, those, that, um, those fluffed up, fluffed up basically styrofoams, <laughs> if you ask me, and foam, what are you really eating? It's, 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 it's a dead piece of material that will just die even more when it comes inside you. You want a living organism, living nutrients, living stuff to give you life. You can't get life from a dead something that's been staying in a fridge, staying in a freezer, or staying in a store on a shelf for months and months and months and months, or in a truck or in a boat when it was transported overseas and so on and so forth. So if you want my, high, my honest down to earth advice on anything related to foods and drinks, I heard two really, really good pieces of advice from an enlightened master and it's quite simple. Just eat fresh, eat locally and eat seasonally. But of course, make sure it's organic. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching and if you're still here and listen to all my advice, I really appreciate you and you should really consider subscribing because I make a lot of really cool videos and I put my heart and soul into it and I hope you guys appreciate that. Thanks for watching.